It's about that time of year when people are starting to submit their primary application, which means the focus will be shifting now to secondary applications. In this video, I'll take you through some of my tips and advice for secondaries. So one of the biggest concerns for secondaries is how you can write essays for 15 to 30 different schools and have each one be high quality. Typically people recommend that you have each secondary application done within two weeks of receiving that application, and some schools even have a strict two week deadline after which you are not allowed to submit the application. Most of your secondary applications will probably come in around the time your primary application is verified, or if you submit it early they may come in around June 28th when medical schools first start receiving your primary application. So how do you effectively complete all of these applications within a two or three week time block? Well, there's a couple strategies for this. The first strategy is to take a few weeks to work on secondaries full time after you receive them. I was fortunate to have this option because my summer internship ended a couple weeks before school started and so I had two weeks to work full time on secondaries with no distractions. Now I realize that a lot of people don't have this convenience because they're either working a full time job or trying to balance something else in their life with writing these applications. And that's where the second option comes in, pre-writing. Pre-writing is when you find the prompts for the secondary applications before you actually receive the applications and start writing the essays ahead of time. There are multiple sources for finding these essay prompts, but the most comprehensive is probably the set of school-specific forums on Student Doctor Network. I will link that below, but I will put a disclaimer that SDN is mostly filled with neurotic pre-meds who make everyone else feel bad about themselves by comparing their applications, and if you choose to use SDN, I recommend staying away from anything that you don't need other than maybe the essay prompts and a specific question that you might have. That being said, when you get on, there will be a page for each school from last year, 2018 to 2019, and usually the first post on each school-specific page will have the secondary prompts and character counts for the essay questions from last year, which you can begin to work on. Pre-writing is risky for this reason though. The schools can always change their prompts from year to year, and while this isn't common, there's a chance that you could be writing an essay that they take out from this year's application and you won't be able to use. Like I said, this isn't a huge risk, but it is one that you're taking and spending a little bit of extra time, but it really doesn't harm much to write an extra essay. When you pre-write, you can spend all your spare time before you even receive the secondaries working on perfecting the essays. This allows you to spread out the writing process over more time and makes the application process much more manageable, especially when you are working full time. Also, once you actually receive the application, you will be able to submit the secondary sooner, and the sooner you submit the secondary, the better your chances of getting an interview at that school. You should note that some schools do screen your application before they send you a secondary. These schools will in general take longer to give you a secondary unless it's based on a simple GPA MCAT cutoff that they can do without actually reading your application. It's even riskier to pre-write for schools that do screen because there's a chance that you would write an entire application that you might not even get to submit. So there are some common essay questions that will more than likely show up in more than one secondary. These include the diversity question, the adversity question, and the why this school essay. The why this school essay is more difficult to reuse because you really do want to make it specific to each school and what's unique about them, but other than that you can probably get some ideas in your head for the diversity and adversity question. For the diversity question, I think a common misconception is that you will only have something to put here if you're of a standard metric of racial or ethnic diversity. That type of diversity is super valuable and definitely gives URM applicants something to talk about in their application, but that doesn't mean that there aren't other aspects of someone's life that they could talk about in this section. For example, I use this essay in most of my secondaries to talk about being raised in a farmhouse in a rural area and how this has affected the way I see and interact with the world. I got a lot of questions about this in most of my interviews because most of the schools I applied to were in urban environments. You really just have to figure out what's unique to you and write about that. If a school has a diversity prompt and not an adversity prompt, you could also use this essay to talk about hardships you've experienced and how those have given you a unique perspective. A lot of schools will have a separate adversity prompt though, and they can be phrased in a lot of different ways. For instance, I remember one question asking specifically about a time I had failed, one asking about a challenging problem I had faced, and a couple asking about a time I had faced adversity in general. There's a chance that what you were thinking for your adversity prompt might not fit for each of these questions. You might be able to use the same idea for each of these, but you'll want to change it slightly so that it actually fits the prompt that you were given. And you will find more prompts than just this that are repeated across schools. You just need to make sure that when you do reuse an essay that it's not obvious that you reused it and that you're definitely changing the name of the school if you ever use the name of the school. One thing I didn't expect when I started filling out secondaries was how much non-essay information they required. A lot of secondaries make you repeat information that you already put into AMCAS, like some of them make you put in your relevant coursework and grades again, some of them make you re-describe all of your activities, and some of them just 
really ask the exact same question that you already answered in AMCAS. All these little details that they want can take a lot more time than you expect, so you should plan out a little bit of extra time more than just essays for each secondary application. My final piece of advice is to not worry too much about secondaries. I personally never had anyone read over any of my secondary applications in an effort to save time. I found that I had written the same essay so many times that if there was something that I wasn't happy with, I would be aware of it. If you're not a strong writer, you might still want to have someone read over your secondaries before you submit, but realize that that's a huge time commitment that you might not have time for. I hope this video has been helpful. In the end, secondaries are mostly there for schools to collect application fees, and you usually don't have as much of an impact on your application as your MCAT, GPA, and extracurriculars. This doesn't mean you shouldn't do your best, because some schools do value them a lot, but you probably don't need to stress quite as much as you did for the primary.